And welcome everybody to the Golden Era Bookworm. Today I'm going to review the 1946 January Your Physique issue <coughs> with Martin Gagliano on the front cover standing next to a statue. And we can see here one of the main articles is how Buster Crabe keeps fit. Buster Crabe was an actor at the time. I've never heard of him, but um, anyway, he's featured in this magazine. There's a, this is a really good magazine actually, and I'm going to have to make several parts. And I've chosen to actually read whole articles, including the first article by George Weaver on the Weaver Stick Lift which is still a really uh, controversial issue <clears throat> and I've actually got the original article here describing the lift anyway I'll get through that later of course um, we've got some ads now comes muscle power amazing new physical culture digest magazine gripping thrilling exciting inspiring Develop smashing power, develop up, uh, build up rugged manhood. You need more muscle power. So, ads for the new magazine, Muscle Power, we went, which went on to become Muscle Builder, which is very famous. In the editorial, we can see a much bulkier looking uh, Joe Waiter. Uh, well, he recounts here in the editorial a story of a Greek slave called Creon. And um, it's actually written right there, a Greek slave called Creon. And at the time, he was a sculptor, and above all, he believed in art and in beauty. He denied Pericles, which was his uh, ruler, leader at the time. If I can zoom in a bit. And um, Pericles had banned art at, the, at that age in ancient Greece, especially those produced by slaves. <clears throat> but even when, Peri when Pericles saw what Creon had created in, as a sculpture, he could not punish Creon um, for his art uh, because it was something so beautiful. Um, and in this, using this example, Joe Wader encourages us all in the editorial to develop a strong and beautiful body for all to admire like a piece of art and it is a very nice wish I'll zoom out again and move on to one of the first articles Dr. Tilney's health message here Dr. Tilney asks are you proud of your physique well um, this article is actually more of a lecture in which Dr. Tilney aims to awaken manhood and vibrant living through proper diet and barbell slash dumbbell training. It was enjoyable to read though, um, even though it's kind of a lecture. If I move on to the next page, I've reminded myself to read a couple of paragraphs. Let's see. Fourth line. We should all learn. <clears throat> so, reading from here. We should all learn to have the profoundest respect for our bodies. This should be one of the first and most important principles which could be instilled into us from earliest infancy. You can be sure there is some moral weakness, something wrong in the person who is always belittling his body or his physical condition 
or enduring some needless weakness. You see, you are only deceiving yourself. It is only little men, weak men, small men, who are ashamed of their physiques. Regardless of your present condition, do not get the impression you are doomed to endure it. Nothing of the kind. Have the grit and gumption to start in right now, making a real man of yourself. Start at once on, on a program of self-advancement. Make your present condition a stepping stone to something better. You can soon acquire a better built body. <laughs> then, if I look on the second and third paragraph of the third column, your body should be sacred to you. And you should regard it as a serious sin to neglect it. Remain indifferent regarding its best welfare. Nothing is more precious to you than your self developed at its best. If you are sloppy and negligent regarding your body, your whole character is likely to be sloppy. Your physique, your health, your fitness should mean everything to you. It's the most important thing in your whole life. You were intended to be a masterpiece, not a daub, not a sickly human apology. It's demoralizing. It's cheapening your very soul if you continue dragging around a weak, ailing, diseased, unshapely body. It advertises you to all the world as a person who has no respect for the temple of the living God. It's a disgrace not to possess a well-developed body. Yet millions are always condemning themselves and complaining about their poor physical condition, belittling themselves for a body they have allowed to get into a botched state. Wow, these are pretty strong words. As I said, it's more of a lecture. <clears throat> this really just continues. The time will come when building a magnificent physique will be regarded as man's greatest delight. I think that time has already come. This, remember, was 1946. And uh, when human beings will consider their health, their bodies, as their masterpiece, in which they will take supreme pride and for which they will feel an unbound enthusiasm. The time will come when all of us will look upon the building a perfect body as a disciplinary school for calling out the largest possible manhood. It takes character, moral fiber, stamina, courage, personal force, determination to acquire a body, a body you are proud of. Building this kind of physique is a training in thoroughness, dependability, persistency, and everyone who can benefit by this kind of training because it's a life builder, a manhood developer. Wow, these are great words. Uh, I had to read the whole thing because I, I have to admit, I, I really agree with a lot of what he's saying. I don't think that weights just build the body, but they build the soul, the moral fiber, as he says it, the spirit. It builds more than just the body, it builds the mind. So It's a very good read. Uh, build muscles with dumbbells. This particular article I wasn't very keen on by Leo Godreau mainly describes the dumbbell clean and jerk. Plus it lists a bunch of world records which I think is just a bunch of ego stroking because I don't really find that uh, this talks about building muscles with dumbbells. This article doesn't talk about that at all. Uh, the only good thing was about it was the routine that was suggested which was to find a working, a working uh, poundage or weight, something, you know, 10, 20 pounds lighter than what you'd normally do, and lift each dumbbell 
one at a time or simultaneously uh, in a bunch of uh, series and it makes for a good workout um, other than that there was nothing more valuable in this particular article <laughs> the next article which I found interesting was not the bodybuilders corner but new t uh, twists for old waists which is a great article by Ed Theriot on twisting exercises for the trunk. This has been a series of articles by Ed Theriot on how to exercise without weights, without equipment. Uh, page two of column one, oh sorry, paragraph two of column one. Too many bodybuilders stress the development of the frontal part of the abdominal region and the lower lumbar region of the back and completely or almost completely forget that there are powerful trunk twisting and trunk turning muscles patiently awaiting development at the sides. True, many of the exercises already given do bring into play these same muscles but the emphasis is more or less localized. In other words, you can exercise the same set of muscles two and often three or more different ways and get almost totally different results. I like this uh, article because it does focus on twisting and there's too many I agree there are too many exercises nowadays like crunches and and leg raises that are just very uh, you know just very linear so. uh, as I said I'm gonna have to make several videos Buster Crabe screen hero not even halfway uh, by Munro Mala and George Lowther, Lowther, whatever, looks into the life of this Hollywood actor. He was a competitive swimmer early in his life and a member of the US Olympic team for the 1932 team. He later starred in many films, including. Uh, where are they? His Brother's Ghost, Gangster's Den, Shadows of Death, Oath of Vengeance, etc, etc. I've never heard of these movies. Uh, great photo here of Leo Stern in Magnificent Manhood. He's a golden era legend, Leo Stern. Abe Goldberg is shown here in How Good Is Your Health Knowledge. Abe Goldberg here is shown at a very young age. I'm not sure what his age is. It doesn't actually tell us, but he's a golden era bodybuilder too. An old forearm test arrived. This is the article I mentioned about, or well, written by George Weaver. On the Weaver Stick Lift. It's the original article. And this lift has caused much controversy. I actually wish to read it completely. Um, and I will. Probably in a separate video. So I'll end it here. And I'll talk about the whole Weaver Stick Lift in the next video.